What's up, YouTube? In this problem, we're going to prove that if you have A intersection B equal to the empty set, then A is a subset of B complement. Um, this is called the absolute complement. Um, let me explain what that is before we do the proof. So let's pretend we have A complement. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Um, so this is the set of all X, such that X is not in A. And if you want to add an extra condition here, you can say that X is in U, where U is your universal set. You might say, what is uh, the universal set? Well, it's, it's the universe. It's, it's not the universe. But when you're dealing with sets, okay, everything, all your elements are in the universal set. So all of your sets are subsets of the universal set. It's kind of like us. We're people. We live in a world. We live on planet Earth. And we're part of the universe. Well, the elements in all of your sets are in the universal set. Therefore, Every set is a subset of the universal set. So you could omit this, or you could leave it. It's kind of understood. Okay, so let's go ahead and go for the proof. So to start the proof, we'll assume that this is true, and then we have to show that this is true. So we'll start by supposing A intersection B is equal to the empty set. So suppose A intersect B is equal to the empty set. And the claim is that A is a subset of B complement. So claim... Claim A is a subset of B complement. Why am I writing it again? Just for added clarity, right? Just, just for added clarity. So to show one set is a subset of the other, we have to show that every element in this set is also in this set. So we'll start by taking any element in this set and then trying to show it's here. So take any, take any X and A. Okay, so take any X and A. So now we have to show that it's in B complement. So how do we do that? So what I'm thinking is, well, we have to somehow use this. Well, we know that A can't be in B, because if it is in B, then it's in A and B, and it's in the intersection, which is empty, which is a contradiction. So again, we know that it can't be in both. So we have to show that, right? So one way to do that is to do, use a contradiction. So suppose to the contrary, suppose to the contrary, just a really short contradiction, contradiction statement. Suppose to the contrary that X is in B. Then that would mean that X is in A and B. And X is in A and X is in B. Just being extra verbose here. So that means that X is in the intersection. Which is empty. So we have a contradiction. This symbol means contradiction. It's like opposing arrows. Okay, Where does that come from? I have no idea. I saw some guy do it once in class. I'm like, that's really freaking cool. So I copied it. I stole it from this guy. Uh, really good professor. Uh, really, really, really cool symbol. <laughs> Contradiction. Okay, so we took an X and A. We, we, and we're trying to show it's not in B. So suppose it is in B. Then it means X is in A and X is in B. That means it's in the intersection, which is empty. A contradiction. Hence, X is not in B. But if it's not in B, that means that it's in the complement of B. So we started with an X and A. We showed it's in the complement. This shows... Pros do it. This shows that A is a subset of B complement. Boom, and that's it. Hope that made some sense. Uh, thanks for checking out my channel. True Mathematics. Take care.